I think if the, the sanctioning bodies just follow the rules, there would be no necessary, it wouldn't be necessary for the interim belts. Just enforce the mandatories when they're due. That that's like, how I feel this should be. That's why us in the media have a problem with the interim titles because you're lying to the fans, claiming that certain fighters are champions when we know they're not. There's already four sanctioning bodies. We don't need more belts. We don't no, need no. more confusion. It, it would not be more belts. That is an extra belt. belt. If you got listen, the WBA at, at one point had a WBA super, WBA regular, and a WBA interim. So well, you like, can, well, you can say that he abused the system. But now, on behalf of Michel Rivera, I will request an interim because I know that a bell, regardless of his interim, he bring on the next level the fighter. All right. All right. All right. So m moving on from that. So... Who, who do you envision Michelle Rivera fighting next, uh, realistically? Uh, honestly, I have realistic. I have no idea. Okay. Because uh, I was thinking, obviously, I would love to see him fight Tank, but we don't know if that fight's possible. I don't believe Pit it would happen. Pitbull, Pitbull Cruz, that's also a good fight. They're both on the PBC side. I, I like that fight as well. And if the, both of those fights, that can't happen. I think a realistic fight is Frank Martin. He's ranked in the WBA, obviously not as high as, as Michelle Rivera. And in the Ring Magazine, he's actually ranked ahead of Michelle Rivera. How do you feel about that fight? That is the right fight. But at the same time, uh, Michelle, he will fight whoever come in the front. That is, it means something. Uh, this one of the most intelligent fighters that I ever have. He understands the business. And it, it will not go backwards. Always it will go in front or it will see because eight rounds is only to keep him busy because in one point I thought that it will be an interim title. So we have a shot of three major uh, sanction body to, to, to see if I can make it an interim because a champion, real champion, it cannot happen, especially with Tap Run, you have everybody. <laughs> you have a room for the four belts probably for two or three years, if not more. So that is frozen. So what do you tell them? Go to 140 or 47? No, no. But or until kill then, yourself at 30? I mean, no, but you in, know. Until then, he can fight fights we're interested in. Like a Frank Martin fight is a fight I, I feel like fans will be interested in. Uh, maybe yes on the right time. I don't believe it's the right time now, believe it or not. But it be really proof, you know, who deserves to be ahead. Uh, I will try that fight, but uh, you need to be many things involved, like the right money for Michelle, the right money for Frank. I mean, you know, and sometimes uh, Frank Martin is not well known, like in this case, Michel Rivera, regardless of his position. No, I, I, but I think that's a good undercard fight, like for for a fight, like it, it, it would pick up pick whatever fight PBC or Showtime is doing. I think that fight fits nice on an undercard because it's a competitive fight, and it's not a fight that is not significant. Again, they're both ranked in the top ten in Ring Magazine, and they both ranked in the WBA. So I, I, I look okay. at that as a good fight. Okay, now, now you, you, you tell me that i 100% right. If I can get that fight for an interim title, it's very meaningful. Very I, good fight. I, I see what you're saying. So you're only looking for fights that either have meaning or that there's less risk. No, or more money. Or more money. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You know, All right. but, All right. but I can guarantee you if I can get that fight for an interim title, the money was it would not be so important for either one. 